All right, so boom, breaking news apparently. There's no longer going to be a picket to pickets for Pittsburgh. No longer are we pushing P because Kenny Pickett is pushing P elsewhere in Philadelphia because apparently we traded him to the Eagles. I'm not even sure what we're receiving back. I didn't want to wait to see what um, we're getting back for Kenny Pickett, but evidently Russell Wilson will be QB1 moving forward and for the future, depending on how he performs. Of course, we got him on a you know million-dollar rental, but one way or another, to Kenny Pickett, I'm shocked that we actually ended up trading him. Now, I don't know if there was a bit of frustration, whether it was being benched for Mason Rudolph last year, whether it's now bringing in Russell Wilson for competition. Maybe Manns is running, you know, from a little bit of comp. But one way or another, uh, to Kenny Pickett, hey, man, best of luck moving forward. I'm 100% sure there's not going to be anybody who's saying he's competing with Jalen Hurts for the starting job. But one way or another, if he gets an opportunity over there, I'm incredibly ecstatic for him. As for the Pittsburgh Steelers moving forward, if I'm not mistaken, we got one quarterback in our QB room right now, and that's Russell Wilson. So I don't know if we should go out there, or unless I'm mistaken, if there were some signings that happened to transpire over the course of the past six days that I did not see, then that's on me, boss. But one way or another, let's go out and go grab some savvy vets um, to go and back up Wilson, people who have played in the NFL before. And like I said in my prior video, although I did feel as if, if Russell were to come in, perform or perhaps underperform, and then at least you have a clipboard in the hands of Kenny to learn under a guy who's been there, done that, in order to grow and then take the reins next year. I think the same thing can apply moving forward. Um, now, granted, there's a ton of quarterbacks in this year's draft. I don't think we should utilize a pick to go and get, you know, one, but one way or another, this is our year to go all in. We sign Queen, great. We got ourselves Russell Wilson, great. We got a ton of additional money. Well, maybe not so much a ton, but let's make some moves. Let's make some trades, go all in and beef up the team to the best of our ability so we can have a season like the 2021 LA Rams. Might I add, um, congratulations to Aaron Donald on his retirement. Got nothing to do with the Pittsburgh Steelers, but he is indeed a pit guy and furthermore, an all-time great. So congratulations to you on your retirement, but I'm hoping we can replicate the 2021 LA Rams. Go and grab as many possible free agents off the market. Go and make some trades for other guys. Bring them into the organization so we have ourselves a team that is ready to not only contend, but also has the trajectory to win the Lombardi Trophy. Because as you heard in Russell Wilson's opening press conference as a member of the Pittsburgh Steelers, they got six goddamn Lombardis out there inside of our trophy case. It's time we go and we get ourselves a seventh. So one way or another, to Kenny Pickett, I appreciate you. We, Steeler Nation, appreciate you. Unfortunately, it did not work out. But now it's time for Russell Wilson to come in. It's time for Russell Wilson to take the reins. And Steeler Nation, let's ride. I don't want to see no corny shit. People talk about, hey, Russ is talking about, hey, Steel got it. Nobody trying to hear nothing goddamn corny, all right? So one way or another, Steeler Nation, let's ride. Russell Wilson, we will rally around you and... God willing, we will hoist up Lombardi number seven because we've never gone this long without a goddamn playoff win in some time. Seven years is wild, all right? In fact, somebody go check the statistics because when was the last time that we went this long without getting ourselves a playoff win and constantly being one and done? This is ridiculous. 2016 has been too long. So it's time we get that job done. And lastly, happy birthday to Mike Tomlin as well. But Steeler Nation, let's ride. Kenny Pickett, best of luck in your future endeavors. Russell, it's your time now. Take us to the promised land.